Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Smart Wallet and me where financial wisdom matters. In today's video, I'm going to do another update on Alibaba and let us know what's going on with this stock. How is it going up and down in these last few days? There's been a lot of movement going on with uh, valuation and with all the new regulations that are being put out by the uh, Chinese regulators. So today we're going to go right into it and make some sense of this and see what's really happening. So let's get right into it. So first of all, there's this news out that says that Ant considers holding company with regulations similar to bank. So Ant Group is now trying to make some recommendations by planning to fold its financial operations into a holding company that could be regulated more like a bank, according to people familiar with the situation, potentially crippling the growth of its most profitable units. The fintech giant is planning to move any unit that would require a financial license into the holding company Pending regulatory approval, said the people who asked not to be named because uh, the, the matter is private. The operations that Ant is looking to fold into the holding company include wealth management services, consumer lending, insurance, payments, and my bank, an online lender in which Ant is the largest shareholder, the people said. Under the financial holding company structure, Ant's businesses would likely be subject to more capital restrictions, potentially curbing its ability to lend more and expand at the pace of the last few years and according to this article if you continue reading further down you can see that um, the valuations are going to go down from 300 billion dollars which was going to be the valuations in november they're going to go down to about 153 billion dollars from 300 billion dollars in november to 153 billion dollars when it, once it comes out that said the proposals suggest and would still be able to to operate in financial services beyond its payments business, quelling investor concern about how to interpret the central bank's Sunday message when it asked Ant to return to its roots as a payments provider. This means China is still trying to encourage domestic consumption and they need platforms like Ant to help people with consumer loans. The key is that consumer lending shouldn't be over leveraged. Chinese regulators also told Ant to devise a plan to overhaul its business the latest in a series of steps to rein in Ma's online franchise empire. While it stopped short of directly asking for a breakup of the company, the central bank stressed Ant needed to understand the necessity of overhauling its business and come up with a timetable as soon as possible. Its growth would slow a lot, said Francis Chan, a Bloomberg intelligence analyst. The valuation of the non-payment businesses, including wealth management and consumer lending, could be slashed by as much as 75%. Ant was last month poised for a public listing that would have valued it at more than $300 billion before regulators intervened and scuttled the IPO. Under rules that took effect in November, non-financial companies which control at least two cross-sector financial institutions are required to hold a financial holding license. Rules on how financial holding companies could be regulated are still under deliberation. Ant isn't working on a proposal to break up the company at this time, though is seeking more guidance from regulators on what structure will be acceptable and may change its plans based on that feedback, the person said. Regulators said to cap interest rates charged on consumer loans, Ant's valuation could fall to below $153 billion according to Chan, similar to where it stood two years ago after a fundraising round. So there's a lot of countries now that are regulating their big fintech companies, their technology companies. Like in the United States, there's a big anti-monopoly probe with all the big fang companies, Facebook, Apple, Netflix, Google. And then you have uh, the Chinese government cracking down on all these big technology companies and trying to probe into their uh, business platform and to see if they're actually doing anything that is illegal by taking on a monopoly and allowing only two platforms to buy or allowing these companies to target and to make them choose between one of two ways to purchase an item. So there's a lot of things that are going on with these big tech companies. There still isn't a lot of information out there by the regulators. All this information that is being said are just scraps of information and rumors. There's really no set rule yet by the uh, regulators to tell the ant group and alibaba what's going to happen and that uncertainty kind of causes a lot of panic in buyers 
because they don't really know what's going to happen with the company, what's really going to unfold later on when these things really come to pass. So this uncertainty causes a lot of panic selling and even sometimes panic buying once the stock gets oversold as it did uh, just today. And uh, yesterday when things were not going too well for the company, the, the stock sold off and it went into oversold territory and then today it just got overbought. I want to bring your attention to this uh, four hour interval chart here and we can see that this stock dropped on December 24th to $221.50 and then you can see here on the four hour chart there's a big doji uh, which kind of looks like an inverted hammer to me and uh, this inverted hammer is very interesting because this could be a big reversal because you can see here the next candlestick is basically a green line and it's going higher from here and this could indicate that this stock right now is going to start turning around and possibly going above the 20 day and 50 day moving averages of about 259 to 276. Although this is just a chart pattern it is very important to consider that you need to look at the political situation of what's going on and the regulations that are being put out, the rumors and what's going to be done eventually with this company. Now personally um, I bought more shares once it hit down over here in these levels because I added more shares to myself because I believe that this was on an oversold territory and I thought it would be very good to buy some more shares. I made a purchase somewhere around here once the stock went low to the oversold territory. I added some more to my position because I believe that this stock is poised to go up from here. I don't know if it can go down even further than this. It's possible but I think that the upside risk is greater than the downside risk and if it does go lower we have to see what that would mean for the stock and also what it means overall with these new regulations. However, given the fact that this stock has done well in the past year, I believe that it is only going to grow even if there is any anti-monopolistic probes into it and investigations. I think that the bark of the Chinese government is greater than their actions and I don't think that this is going to allow them to actually clamp down on the company and destroy it because it would actually destroy the Chinese economy because the entire Chinese economy is hung on Alibaba and Tencent and JD.com so if they're going to destroy these companies they're basically destroying their own economy and I think that that would be a very bad mistake on their part but then again you never know what they're planning on what they're doing so anything could happen however given my opinion I think that we just have to wait and see what's going to happen with these regulations like I said there's no real clear picture of what's really happening but once we find out from the regulators what their plans are and what they really want to do I think that this stock will eventually turn back around and go above the 300 mark and be above where we are right now so that's why I picked up some shares like around down over here when it was oversold and um, we also have to see what's going on with the uh, US government with them trying to delist these companies if they don't if these Chinese companies don't agree to um, allow the US auditors to examine their records. So these are things that we need to look into. I think that China would be very foolish not to allow the US auditors to get in there and look at their records because this will only hamper down their stock even further. But that's just my opinion. And right now we can see that this stock is up almost 7% when it dropped over 30% from its highs back in November. So guys that's all I have for you. That's all I can tell you guys from the information that I have. I like the sign of this doji here. This could be a reversal. I like the fact that it was oversold and now it's turning back around. And I like the fact that this stock has still more room to grow. A lot of analysts are into it and there's a lot of demand for this company. And I don't think the Chinese government is going to clamp down too hard on them because it will only destroy their economy. So it's up to them what they want to do. But we just have to play this very carefully and see what's going to happen. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.